Hey guys, Jamin here with PC Monkey. I'm bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. In this video, I have a Lenovo laptop. I'm gonna show you how to factory reset this laptop. Uh, now, before I get into this, if you have any questions or comments, uh, if something didn't look right to you or you get lost, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description first. I update those as time goes on. Uh, maybe I missed something in the video or maybe several people have the same question, uh, in which case I'll put them in the frequently asked questions and it could save you some time getting a response. Uh, if you don't see your question there and you are a little lost or perhaps this is not the exact issue you're looking for, you're just commenting on it because it's the video you stumbled across, leave me a comment, leave what kind of computer you have and what issue you're facing with it. Try to describe what's going on with it uh, and I can help you out. I can either message you back or I can forward you another video, uh, but I'll help you through whatever you're dealing with. Uh, now, there are two main ways that we're going to factory reset a computer. The first way uh, is going to be through Windows. So that assumes that your computer is loading up, it's working well enough to access Windows, um, and then you can factory reset through there. I'm going to show you that first. The second method is assuming Windows is not operating well. Uh, and you could be coming to this video from another video of mine where you're troubleshooting a different type of error, uh, in which case your operating system is not loading. Your computer is getting stuck loading or you're getting a variety of errors. Uh, but the second factory reset method will be uh, in, in that situation. And that'll be a way to factory reset from the back end uh, before Windows loads up. Uh, if you're here for that reason, I'll put the time that that starts below in the description so you can fast forward through the first part because in the first part now, I'm going to show you how to factory reset from the operating system. Uh, so let's get into it. I'll zoom in on the screen and show you how to factory reset from Windows. So the first place you're going to go is down to your left to your search bar and type in reset. Pretty easy. And this will pop up, reset this PC under system settings. We're gonna hit enter or, or click on it. The next window that comes up, scroll down to where it says advanced startup. And then you're gonna click on this button that says restart now. Under these options, come down here to the bottom left where it says troubleshoot. And as you can see here, it says reset your PC or see advanced options. So we're gonna click on that. Now on this screen, it says reset this PC, and as you can see here, it says let you choose to keep or remove your personal files and then reinstalls Windows. So this will give you an, an option, and the option is right here. Now the option that it's giving you here is choosing between what I call a soft reset on top or a hard reset on the bottom. A soft reset will remove your settings and your apps, but it'll keep most of your files. A hard reset will delete everything. You'll lose all your data, all your apps, all your settings. If you're just looking to free up some space on your computer, if you're just looking to uh, refresh Windows and make it run a little more smooth, uh, you can choose that first option. Just keep in mind that even though it says it's gonna save your files, it's always good to back up your data. Um, things can always go wrong. Things that you thought may be saved may be accidentally deleted. It's always best to back up your data online, um, on an external storage device. It's always good to back up your data before attempting anything like this. Um, if you are here for troubleshooting Windows 10, if you're here for a reason that your computer's not working and you're trying this as a step, you're better off going with the hard reset that will delete everything. Uh, it, it refreshes Windows a, a little better. So just keep that in mind when making your choice. Also, one thing of note, uh, before moving on and getting the reset started, make sure that before you start this process, you plug in your computer. If your battery runs out of power during a factory reset, there's a good chance your operating system may become corrupted after that um, and it won't work at all. And in that case, you'll need to reinstall Windows new. Uh, so make sure your, your computer's plugged in uh, so your computer won't shut off during the reset. Okay, so as we mentioned, that top option says keep my files, removes apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. And this hard reset down here says removes all of your personal files and settings. So for our purposes, we're just gonna click on this one, the hard reset. We've made sure our computer's plugged in. Now this is saying, how would you like to reinstall? We're gonna come down here, local reinstall. Now this option here, just remove my files. Use this if you're keeping your PC. Uh, this one, fully clean the drive. Use this if you're recycling your PC, if you're selling it or, or giving it away. This will make sure everything is gone. Um, so depending on what you're gonna do with your computer, the extent that you want it cleaned out, you can choose either one of these. Keep in mind, this one may take several hours. Uh, this one will be a little faster. 
Now that you've started the factory reset process, let me give you a heads up on some things you could be looking at. Uh, some of you may get an error saying that you need to delete some data or you need to free up space in order to allow the factory reset to proceed. If you're getting that error, look below in the description. There'll be a video link on how to free up space or how to delete some cache. Um, that'll take you to several places in your computer where you can go to delete data and it should free up enough space to continue the factory reset. If for some reason you're still getting the error and it, and it wasn't enough, or if you're getting other kinds of errors, anything to basically stop the factory reset and not allow it to go through, that could show that your operating system is a little more corrupt than we thought and a factory reset may not be um, a good enough option. You may need to reinstall the operating system new. Uh, I'll show you how to do that later in this video, but now I'm going to switch over to the second method of factory reset, which is the back end way that I described earlier. If you don't need to see that again, I'll put a timestamp below uh, where you can see how to reinstall Windows. I'll show you how to do that after I show you the second method. Um, keep in mind with this back end way, um, this again assumes that Windows is not loading, something's wrong with the computer, the operating system can't load. Keep in mind this usually only works for older Lenovo computers. Uh, newer Lenovo's are starting up so fast um, that it's not really giving you access to that back end startup option to factory reset. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clip from an old video instead of showing you on this computer because it's too new. I'm going to take a clip from an older one of my videos on a Lenovo where that was possible and I'll show you that. Um, if your computer is not letting you gain op that option, consider going into BIOS and changing your uh, fast startup setting. Consider turning fast startup off if you have that option in BIOS and that may give you access. Um, to that back end way. So I'll show you that clip now and then at the end of the video I'll show you how to reinstall Windows new um, if the factory reset doesn't work and you need to go that option. Okay so now that the computer's off, uh, one way that a lot of older Lenovo's will let you in to these recovery options is through the back end. Um, Lenovo likes jumping all over the place with their function keys. Uh, so normally I have found that you press power and you immediately start tapping on F9. Uh, in some laptops it's F10, most often it's F11. Uh, however, I have heard of it being F12, F1, F2. Uh, some Lenovo's have a button along the side here or along the side there. Um, so Lenovo is kind of a pain as far as finding the back channel, but start with F9, F10, and again, usually F11. So you'll hit your power button, and you'll start tapping on F11, um, and it should start to diagnose uh, or the diagnosing PC screen will come up or the advanced option screen will come up. So you'll reach diagnosing your PC after finding the correct function key. Uh, this will take you to the automatic repair screen where you will click on advanced options. In this case I have the use of my mouse. Uh, you may need to tab over or arrow over but I can click on it there. This will take you to choose an option. We're going to click on troubleshoot. Then again, reset this PC on top. And this is again those two options you had before. You can keep your files on the top, soft resetting, or you can remove all your data on the bottom, uh, which we call a hard reset. Uh, so that's where you would do this, same as we were doing in the operating system. So those are the two ways of factory resetting Windows, one through the operating system, assuming it's working, and the second way through the back end or the startup options. Um, assuming Windows isn't working and assuming your computer gives you that option to access that. Now again, if you've got any errors, if the factory reset won't take, um, if it's stopping, or if it's not accomplishing what you want it to, you may have to switch over to a new install of Windows, and I'll show you how to do that now. Uh, this install media I created myself directly from Microsoft for free. Uh, there'll be a video link below in the description on how to create this for yourself. Uh, if you want to purchase your install media instead, uh, just make sure that when you're purchasing it, it's install media and not recovery media. Um, some sellers mislabel uh, either intentionally or not uh, the items they're selling and you can't install a new version of Windows with recovery media. Uh, so make sure it's install media again. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the computer and uh, show you how to access your setup options to use this. So when your computer is off, you're going to take your install media, plug it into the USB port, you're going to hit power and start tapping on F12 right away.
This brings up your boot options. Right now, Windows Boot Manager is selected. We're gonna scroll down to USB device SanDisk. So I use my arrow keys. You may be able to use your mouse, your arrow keys, or your tab. But I scroll down to USB device and hit enter. So this is the first screen you'll see. Uh, I have all mine preset English, English, US. Change yours as needed. Again, at this stage, you may have use of your mouse. I do not, as you can see here, it's not moving. So I'm gonna use my tab key to tab over to next and hit enter. And then install now. I'm gonna tab, install now. So this is a fairly long process, depending on your computer and its specs. This could take quite a while. Uh, so I'll keep this video running the entire course through. Um, and I'll show you all the options and I'll fast forward the parts where it's just loading uh, so you know what to expect when you're doing this. So this is the next window you'll see. I'm at, I actually plugged in a USB mouse because using a mouse is much easier. Uh, so I'm going to hit accept and next. Now I'm going to do a custom install. This is bottom option. We're installing Windows new. So I'm going to do the custom install here. Uh, if you want to save your files, if for some reason you haven't backed up your files, and you're looking to possibly save some data, you would want to choose this one. But for our purposes in this video, I'm going to choose the advanced lower option, uh, a completely new install. So click on that. Now you're going to see a list of partitions here. You may have more than I have, you may have less. We're going to click on each one individually and delete it. So one at a time, click on all the partitions, delete them. We're doing a fresh install, getting rid of everything on the hard drive. This is good for viruses or if you're uh, purchased a, a hard drive for your computer. All right, but now we have unallocated space is the only option left. No more partitions. So now that that's our only option, we're going to hit next. And now it starts downloading. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of what? So I just went ahead and muted that. Um, that's an audio assist. She'll walk you through all the questions. And if you have a mic on your computer, you can just say yes or no to the questions. Uh, but we're gonna use our, our, our mouse, it's, it's a little faster. Uh, so now the install process has started. There's gonna be a series of options uh, and things for you to choose. So I'll take you through this now. All right, it's still loading up, hang on one sec. Okay, so you select your country, it pre-fills here, hit yes. It's asking your keyboard layout, again, I'm going US, hit next. I don't need a second keyboard layout, uh, this is where you would choose that. So you would add a layout here, a secondary layout, or in my case, I'm going to skip because I don't want a second one. Now this option is where you choose a Wi-Fi network to help in the setup. So this is the first choice that I want to point something out. If you select the network here, it'll help you in your setup. However, uh, what most likely is going to happen is it's going to ask you and force you uh, to sign into your Microsoft account. And if you don't have one, it's going to force you to create a Microsoft account. And there will be no option to skip that step and not do it. I don't, I don't have a Microsoft account and I don't like being forced to make an account that I don't want to make. So the way around that, if, if you care like I do, is you would select you don't have Wi-Fi and you would continue set up without signing into a Wi-Fi network. If you don't care and you want to sign into your Microsoft account, by all means, choose a Wi-Fi network and that option will come up later. Uh, but again, if you don't want that option, skip this step, select you don't have a Wi-Fi account, and then we'll move on. And down here on the bottom left, I don't have internet. It's going to uh, double check with me and let me know all the reasons why I should sign in. But I'm going to, again, down here on the left, continue with limited setup no Wi-Fi. So here's your opportunity to name your computer or name who's going to be using it. So if you want a password, this is where you would enter it. I'm just doing this for the video, so I'm not going to enter one. I'm going to hit next and that just skips by the password part. Now again, I don't like giving my data to people who aren't paying for it or when I don't know where, where it's going to be used. So this is authorizing a ton of data to be sent to Microsoft. Uh, I'm, I just deselect all of these. Location data, usage, diagnostic data. I don't like giving my data to people. Um, if you don't care, leave them selected as yes. They're not going to hurt you. Uh, but I don't usually like doing that. So I unselect all of them. And then bottom right, I'll hit accept. 
Same thing goes here. Uh, I'm not going to set up for this, so I'm going to hit no. You can select yes if, if you wish. And then right here, this is giving Cortana access to some of your personal information. I, again, am hitting not now, uh, but if you want to hit accept, you, you can also do that on the bottom right. So as you can see, Windows 10 is installed. The bulk of the work is done. However, a couple things to point out. One, if you were like me um, and you didn't sign up to Wi-Fi right away, that, that means you're not on Wi-Fi right now. Um, it's just a brand new copy of Windows 10, and at this point, Windows 10 has been out for a long time. Uh, there's a lot of updates, driver security, operating, there's a lot of updates you got to run, and you need Wi-Fi to do that. So the first thing you want to do is get on a Wi-Fi, and I'll show you how to do that now. So this is a brand new copy of Windows 10, which means down here in the right-hand corner, where your Wi-Fi icon usually is, it may not be there. As you can see here, I have no Wi-Fi icon, which is, which is where a lot of people go to sign up to Wi-Fi. That will populate, but it may take quite a while. So what I would prefer is go down here to the search bar and type in Wi-Fi. That brings up your Wi-Fi settings. Click on that. So Wi-Fi is on, show available networks. And this is where you would sign on to your Wi-Fi network. So once you're on a Wi-Fi network, you can go ahead and shut this down. And now you want to get those updates going. So go into your search bar here, type in updates. And right here, check for update system settings. Click on that. It, it will always say this. No updates available. It, it will usually always say that when you go in here. Never believe it. Um, there'll always be a button here, check for updates. You want to always click on that to make sure you're running any updates possible because this is not live. Um, so we're going to hit check for updates and most likely you're going to see a ton of updates populate here. Yeah, see, so you have a ton of updates. Uh, they're already going 36%. That one's flying and you got a ton of updates uh, going here. Sometimes they won't start on their own. You'll have to scroll down to the bottom of the list and click on uh, a button here sometimes to start updates. Um, but usually they'll start by themselves if you're in a newer computer. Now the update process may take quite a while. Again, you have a ton of updates to do. There'll be another video link below in the description, a full video on how to process the updates for your computer. Uh, check that out because there are some tips and hints uh, to go along to make sure all the updates process. You may have to restart a few times and there are some things you have to look out for. So again, the video link below in the, in the description specifically on running updates in a Windows 10 computer. The other thing I wanted to point out in addition to the Wi-Fi and the updates you need to do, the second thing was many of you, if you've installed Windows 10 before, uh, you'll notice it didn't ask me for the product ID key or the Windows product ID. It didn't ask me for that in the install process. Uh, some of you, it may have asked you, or some of you like me, it didn't. Um, either one of two things will happen. Either it'll automatically pull the Windows product ID from your computer, which is usually the case on newer computers, uh, or it, it will ask you for it. Now it's a lot easier to hit skip. I don't have it, just like we did Wi-Fi. Skip it, act like you don't have it. The install process will finish, and then you can check afterward to see if it's automatically downloaded from your computer or not. And I'll show you how to check that now. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this down. Now to check on whether your Windows is activated or not, which means the product ID was entered, you're gonna come down here to your Windows File Manager. You're gonna click on this PC. You're gonna right click on it and hit Properties. Then we're gonna scroll all the way down here to Windows Activation. And as you can see here, it says Windows is activated. If it says anything other than Windows is activated, it could say Windows is not activated or Windows needs to be act activated. If it says anything like that, it means it didn't pull it automatically from your computer and you've got to manually enter it. Click the option on the right for change product key. And if you have an older computer, the product key may be on the bottom of your computer on a sticker. If you have a newer computer like this, it should have pulled it from the motherboard. If it didn't, you have to purchase one. Uh, so you'd go online and you'd buy one of those. But that's where you'd enter it. Is you'd click on change product key and that's when you would enter that product key in. So that's how you would factory reset those two ways. That's how you would install Windows new. Uh, if that's something you had to do, maybe the factory reset didn't work. Maybe it didn't give you the results you were looking for. Uh, but that video should help you out with the operating system issues. Again, if you have any questions or comments, check out the FAQs below. Uh, if you don't see yours there, leave me a comment. I get back to you guys a couple times a day at least, or I try to anyway. Please like and share if this video helped you out. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe.
Thank you so much for watching, guys.